Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization Six. That was an expensive golden age, you guys. That that was that was brutal. Uh, I know that we can declare war here to reset our gold and uh, and get some of it back. I'd rather just live with my mistakes um, because it was absolutely my stake to not tech ironworking, and I'm not one to save scum or try to you know cheese around my own errors. Um, granted, I make them sometimes more often because I'm sitting here talking to a lot of people while I try to play the game. Uh, but uh, I, I'd rather just live with it, and and I think we can recover. It's it's going to put a huge damper on our gold. I think in the long run, the the Diplo favor won't be that huge of a deal. Um, now, granted, we were just looking, and Apadana is already started in two different civs here. So unfortunately, Apadana is a great wonder if you're going to go Diplo, uh, just because you do get the envoys like that. So that is a that is a thing. Uh, but we can probably just go right for Mahabadi after we build this temple uh, and then hopefully make up for our gold in the long run. We'll get that commercial hub and uh, and, and try to make some things happen. Uh, we've got still some some scary danger over here, potentially. Uh, but but uh, Monumentality Golden Age plus feudalism. Granted, we're pretty far away from that as well. Will help us expand. Means that maybe we try to go for... Um, Maybe we try to go for some settlers first, and then we'll get builders later on. Even though like this city needs a, a needs a builder real bad, the problem right now is I I can't really afford to buy them tiles either. Uh, so unless I can get lumber mills right away, which I don't even think I have the tech for, uh, I don't. Uh, we don't really get to start. Um, am I getting a water mill anywhere? I am. So let's let that happen. I drinking tea. You know what? I don't have any tea today. Um, I had I had two French presses worth of coffee this morning already, so I'm a little I'm a little teed out. I'm going with the water, going with the water strategy. All right. In order to build Mahabadi, uh, we want our temple first. That'll also give us culture. We also need to secure this religion. Maybe buying a couple uh, a couple missionaries here just to kind of spread it around uh, would be a good idea. I don't want to lose like she does have a religion and could come in. Uh, uh, We'd lose it, and that would be bad. It, how early in season is it important to build your monument? It's usually one of the first two things I build. I'm either building a granary or a monument first. Uh, we know there's a barb over here. I have troops nearby. I don't see the need to just uh, walk into this fog of war and lose my settler and have to chase it. So let's just hold on to that guy right there while our troops catch up. We did levy here. Um, that we want for sure. Two era score. I don't think I can do much with this levied army. Other than maybe just explore a bit. Maybe help them protect against Nubia. Protect against Nubia. Uh, Sorceress Samantha, welcome into the shop. Thank you, thank you for the follow. I <laughs> uh, don't want to go this way. Yeah, we want to go find our last, <laughs> the thing we meant to do last era and didn't. Sergeant Scarecrow, thank you as well. Welcome in. Okay, uh, getting a builder here. Yeah, we could use some builders. Uh, we don't have Magnus's second promotion, so it makes this um, it makes faith buying some settlers a little bit more awkward. I think it's really smart to faith buy settlers in like two pop cities because it takes no time at all to make up for that uh, that lost citizen again. Uh, and I do need some settlers, so this guy's going that way. I guess I do need one down here too. I could do that in the cap. I I could also do that here pretty comfortably. Probably probably you'll just buy that here. It's 320. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I want one more after this. So yeah, let's let's forward in the, the front half of this golden age. We're gonna buy settlers, and then after that we'll work on builders, hopefully getting to uh, feudalism beforehand. Okay, so Congress begins. Um, so usually I think two votes usually wins this for yourself. We don't even have that. This is the real big downside of selling off our, our favor right there is that we're not going to be able to control this at all. And so we wind up really having to, uh, to guess, I think I might want to vote for Teddy just to win the point. Um, 
I, winning this these first couple congresses is is a surefire way to steer you into a diplo victory um and if you miss them you're adding on th- like almost 30 turns each time you miss out on some so i think that's fine teddy's got the most diplo and he he seems to want this so if i just vote for him even though it won't benefit me directly in the game right now we could certainly use that uh that that trade route it'll hopefully win me the diplo victory point and i think that's uh i think that's more important so let's do that hello zantros how you doing yeah i was thinking of range for for the the units as as well uh, that that seems to be a popular pick amongst the AI, and certainly with Nubia, she should be voting for ranged. We'll find out, but we only have that much favor to commit. Uh, and Zandrius, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. You always see melee. Um, hmm. I can send him trade routes and give give me plus four gold. How does that not benefit me? I only have one trade route. I'd rather have the actual trade route, not only for road infrastructure, but the, the trade route itself would give me more of a yield probably. We have a six six gold trade route going to the uh, commercial city state right now. So it would actually be a benefit for us. You're right. It is a small benefit, um, but it'd be better if we could just win it. I think I'm going to go ranged. Hopefully we win these. Unmet player, though. Teddy did not win this. Teddy voted for an unmet player? <laughs> really? He voted for Eleanor? I don't understand. Oh, these... No, these are all A. Huh. Okay. Well, we won one because we got this one. Normal people believe that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, <laughs> nice boss tone. it doesn't have enough features yet. Do, do, do. Okay, let's go see where that barb is. There it is. Have them hang out. All right, so that gives us one Diplo victory point. Nubia also has one. Teddy also has one. I see. The a- a- AI wants to trade with them. It's weird that they're so far away, though. That's what confuses me a bit. A bit. There's that settler. There's this settler. What's my next settler? 360. So about 10 turns, and we'll be able to grab that. I don't know where we're settling it. We should take a look at that in a minute. We may even want more than just the eight cities. We'll see. Yeah, going towards crossbows. Kill one, not super important. I would probably like to go for Forbidden City. What other wonders do we want for a Diplo victory? Certainly the Forbidden City wouldn't be bad. Getting a wildcard policy slot is always good. Um, We don't necessarily need this. This is much more of a religious victory wonder. Um, We'll want to get to here super far away industrial era uh, but that's a good one eventually yeah potato on the way you're right that's one more okay all right so do we bother going for forbidden city or do we just start teching towards astronomy yeah that's true we need a statue of liberty spot let's look at coast and see if we can find one. Oh, right here Perfect. Granted, that's pretty tough to settle at the moment. But that works, right? Either one of these tiles. This would also be fine. Did I get temple? Do you mean like this temple? I'm working on it. But to the north... Um, no. Nope. Looks like this is probably our best bet. No, I got to get the temple before I can even start Mahabadi. This actually benefits us just fine. We have nearby troops.
You don't usually go for industrial zones. Will you build some for carbon recapture? We'll see. Um, sometimes, usually my games, my, even my Diplo games don't go long enough for carbon recapture to be a thing. Oh, I was thinking Golden Gate Bridge. You're right. You're right. I was thinking Golden Gate Bridge. Why was I thinking Golden Gate Bridge? What do you even do for us? Anything? Yeah, statue can just go next to a harbor. You're right. This doesn't really help us. And then, yeah, yeah. This is next to it. I was, my brain was just like, yeah, it's Golden Gate Bridge. It's hard to place. Let's find it. No, no, no. This just must be next to a harbor. All right, so we definitely need a coastal, a productive coastal city for statue. So we'll, we'll we'll think about that in a minute. Do that. Um, so, if we look at our continents, we definitely want to make sure that we have all the luxuries that are available. So, on Avalonia, we have dyes, which we have access to. We have olives, which we have access to. We have furs, which we currently don't have access to. And then what's the final luxury here? Sugar. So I'm looking for a furs and sugar city. There's sugar all the way down here. Did I win the Congress? I just won one. Can you search continent and luxury resources? What a great idea. Uh, luxury resource. Space. And then what? How did you spell it? Avalonia? Is that right? It's probably not right. Maybe A L O N A. Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, uh, luxury. Avalonia. So there we go. So we can see all the luxuries on Avalonia. So if we Suzer and Rapa, we get our furs. They eventually get sugar. Hmm. So that's a little awkward. We should get all these. We have cotton. We have gypsum. We have silk that we need to pick up and tea. This is a pretty interesting potential mausoleum. It's only three sea resources. Unless I can somehow pick up that fish. Not that interesting. Yeah, I see these furs, and that's sort of what I'm thinking about because I'm moving the settler to where we want to settle. And so the math that I'm doing in my head is like, do we want to settle close enough to this fur tile? Maybe buy it, even though we don't have money. Like, be near the the, the double uh, camp tile down here, or do we just want to be near our mountains and be happy about that? I think we're fine just being near our mountains. So this seems okay to me. And then where does this city go? Probably right on the gypsum. I think I like that. Two cities can fit there. Yeah, I know. We may may or may not get more cities. I'm currently on the eight city plan. I might I might need to up it to the twelve city plan, but we'll see. Yeah. 
These aren't my troops, so I don't really care if they die. Yeah, use tunnels. I know. I need to get some builders. There's a lot of stuff we need. We paid a hefty cost for this golden age. When you first Diplo victory this week? Nice, David. Well done. So it was grindy at the end because you didn't get my body? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoopsies accidentally went to Mars again. <laughs> yeah, they might be coming here. Uh, they were at war at one point. We'll see. Jerksies, thank you for the 13 months, my friend. Welcome on back. Welcome back to the shop, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, oh, hey, oh, GM. Hey, oh, hey, oh, to you, my friend. What is happening? I like the plus two holy site that gets to plus three rather than this plus four. Because I think this is an incredible terrace farm for us and makes these somewhat useful tiles, getting getting us more faith via Earth Goddess rather than just the plus four adjacency over here. Uh, so I think that's going to be fine. Because I can go commercial hub, holy site. Do I want to chop first? Yeah, probably. Oh, plus, sorry, plus three, and then it becomes plus four. Actually missed an adjacency there. So let's get our uh, commercial hub down here first. Because we're so light on gold for turn 87. Hey, Amareth, how you doing? <laughs> Where is this last sieve? For real, what is happening? Oh, hi. Are we going to get aqueducts for fancy terrace farms? We'll probably get a couple, but I'm not going to go out of my way for them. Yeah, it looks like they're going for them, but they're not yet. We just checked. I want to guarantee that I get this. As you can see, we've had issues with Era score. <laughs> so, uh, Zisu, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. You're sick. Oh, no. Why Tiny Kappa? Oh, it could be Coupe. Yeah, that'd be funny. So decent base, decent first tile. We can just start our monument. We could also lock in some districts. Um, we can think about that now. Same idea probably, like holy site and uh, commercial hub, meaning we can just lock in this commercial hub. What else could we do? Obviously a good district there. I think we'll just lock in this commercial hub. I can't see it not going here. I would like to get builders. Um, one, two. No, you can't build that. Let's just get him a granary. We'll work on infrastructure there for the time being. Whoopsies. <laughs> Rip that scout. Okay, well. At least that's more era score for us. To do. So Mahabada here or here? I guess this is a little bit better, but I'd have to buy a tile for it.
It's not good enough for Chichen Itza. Meaning I put their theater square. Two, three. Their theater square goes here. I like that being their holy site, I think. Meaning it kind of doesn't matter where I put this. I still think it's a little bit better. Worst case scenario, we could throw a uh, terrace farm there. So we'll buy it in this city because it's closer and therefore cheaper. And then we'll start it here. Seems okay. So 20 turns on that. Um, if I can get some builders here, we could chop out some jungle. Don't really want to get rid of this woods. Could chop out this jungle. Could get some more mines. I definitely want a builder here. I think I'm going to get one now. Just so I can accelerate this. It'll slow down my next settler, but I think it's worth it. It's pretty cheap, relatively speaking. Another envoy. We could take a suzerain here. We're going to give him a tile. What tile do we give him? This is a perfectly settleable city up here, too. Kind of. We give them this tile or this tile. It's fine. Oh, we gave him this tile. That's fine. Uh, cool. So a little bit, a little bit extra growth down here where we have a campus right now because of that suzerain bonus. Start on that. If I build a holy site here, it's still going to be pretty hard to make any earth goddess tiles. Love to buy that. This is where our lack of money is hurting. There's our barb camp for two more era score. Not bad. Need to get to 103 for another golden. Nice, Intrasi. Congrats. Did you pick up a tile? No. They're not at war yet. <laughs> I know. I'm looking for that last sieve. I'm having a real hard time finding it. It's potentially still era, five era score right now. People who cannot find. Definitely want to clear these barb camps if at all possible. Looks like they're going to get it way before I do. So I'm probably not even going to try for that one unless I can sneak up a horse or something. It's a pretty sweet terrace farms there. Okay, so we sent off our envoys. We can take that back. We should probably put in this for our wonder production. Uh, I believe this is still a classic era wonder, yeah? My body? Yeah, sure is. Sure is. So let's let's put in the wonder policy, especially if we're going to chop it all, which we may. The rest of it looks fine. I could try to sneak that horse up and grab it. Looks like this is going to get cleared before this one. So we could try to go that route.
So again, as I've said, this is a food for the sake of food sieve. Uh, if you look at the actual yields here, we should probably be getting mines. Um, but I'll, I'll take a city that grows nice and tall and can actually work all these as well. So I think it's pretty close. Should I block Nubia? I don't think Nubia is going for it, you guys. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't see what you're seeing. Yeah, I saw her troops there for a second, but that that's not an indicator. I mean, it, it's it's a it's a it's a hint, uh, but it's not a it's 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 not a guarantee. Yeah, the vol t volcano tile becomes three two two exactly. Well, four two two. Uh, but again, more food, not production. <laughs> I like production, not food. Uh, so conti continues to just be that's that's what Pachacuti does, and that's what he does well. I just don't think it's very good. <laughs> what? Give me. Give to me. Give to me. Please. Mine. Mine? Speaking of mines, we have this mine. I need more mines. I can go here first. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, Hogue. <laughs> that is quite a mystery. Also, can afford not taking madness promotions for settlers and their pop grows naturally. Yeah, I know. That's what I did. Aww. Yeah, it's food for the sake of food. That's why I don't think it's strong. Let's see if I can snag this. Archer can maybe clear that one on its own. We're down to 12 turns here, though. That's good. We're going to chop here in a second. Down to 10. Heh. <laughs> Gone already. As I said. That was the one that was going to get cleared first, for sure. And it did. <laughs> That's, that feels about right. That feels about right. <laughs> it was a trap the whole time. So you're getting my commercial hub. We have a campus and we have a holy site. So that will be my third district. So I want to manage these boosts properly if I can. If that guy doesn't find the final sieve, I'm going to cry, so. I need builders so bad. It also sucks that terrace farms don't give you this boost, meaning you need six additional farms on top of the additional terrace farms you have. So food on top of food on top of food uh, in order to get this. Granted, it's just one Eureka, but... It's still a bummer. Next turn, I'll switch this. 
Go grab our lumber mills. That would be good. Why not give the archer the promo? Uh, cause, cause I, okay. So Barb, after you, after your first promotion, Barb XP is not really a thing. So the heal is actually more valuable than the one or two XP we'd get from killing this guy. So I'd rather save the promo in case there's like a horse comes over and like smacks me, then I can at least heal up and still pr potentially clear the camp. Wow, Jebel being available is interesting. Huh. So I could build it here. This is obviously a fantastic campus. But they can still get one, two. Oh, no, they can't take advantage of that one. They can. It will be... It'll only be a three-city Jebel at the moment. It's not that good. I really like this wonder a lot. But I think the positioning's bad. It needs to be more centralized. Yeah, no, you could put it there. It's still plus four campus. This is plus five. So it would be fine to attempt this. I just don't think the benefit's really there. It's going to give us 12 faith per turn. Six iron per turn. We already have iron. I'd almost just rather get the, the really good campus. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it is it is a thing for era score. I'll grant you that. Next turn, I can get another settler. Not settling anything down here, I don't think. So statue goes here, right? That works. So if I make a city here. We'll get a really good harbor. And then we could put statue right next to it. See ya, Sarge. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. We'll see ya. No spot for mausoleum. I don't really care about it too much. High appeal. So good earth goddess city. Suppose we could settle up here instead. Do I like that a little better? I might like that just a little better. You miss out on the crabs, though. I just like the productive production tiles that we could potentially get. It's a worse harbor by far, but I think the city's better. And I'm looking... What I need the city to do is build Statue of Liberty. Uh, the harbor's great, and I'd like a, I'd like an era score for a quality harbor. That'd be awesome. Oh, there you go. The Cree. Oh my god, they were up here the whole time. <laughs> they were up here the whole time. I I uh I half went up that way. That's where I originally thought them and I was like, "No, they can't be on this." Uh, okay. Good good catch, Garv. I didn't even see that. Cuz this city Look at look at look at the amount of productive tiles. We'll have two lumber mills here. We'll be able to work these plantations and then basically two more productive tiles. Versus if we settle the city here, it's a bet it's a two two base. We start with better tiles, uh, and then in the long run, the city could potentially pick up both of these as well. Plus, it gets a good campus. You could get mausoleum here then. 
No, you're good, Garb. That's good. This is a good catch, man. Do they have one of the worst suzerain bonuses? Uh, depends on the game you're in. This can be very, very strong late game. Uh, but definitely, definitely not until very, very late, obviously. Until you have power. And yeah, if you're heavy harbor, then you're you're good to go. Well, it's one of these two spots. That's certainly where a city needs to go. Probably not worth settling a city in here. I don't think I pick up enough to do it. Yeah, that's true. The Poundmaker loyalty could be a thing. That is absolutely true. All right, so let's work on this plus five campus. Yeah, that's awesome. Do that. Pup capped six turns. Can buy this now. No, next turn. Okay. We'll buy it here. Invincibility without There's my mathematics boost. Still might want to go construction right now. So we can get our lumber mills. Let this run for five more turns. I think we probably just ignore the feudalism boost. Sad as it is, like it, it, like the farms don't really benefit our cities that much. And so I'm wasting a bunch of faith on builders probably or production on builders that are going to be sort of inefficient. I guess we trade a little culture for the efficiency of our faith um, and then future builders. So we probably just leave that alone. England's got a couple cities left. <laughs> okay. So I haven't built a quality holy site yet. This will be. So 10 turns and we're good. So we've got the quality holy site covered. Um, I need to get the government plaza down here before I get this commercial hub. So that can be a quality district. Hey, Norse, how you doing? Do you think Eleanor could grow the cap tall and then let other civs settle? Yeah, that's her sort of defensive mechanism. Eleanor winds up being surprisingly good on deity because deity is so good at forward settling you. Um, I guess probably the AI in general, not necessarily deity. Any hints on what resources are on in that third continent of the Norse plans to explore? Eventually, once I get some builders in abundant, in abundancy. Look at this sweet cap. All right, yes, I think we can move Pingala back now because Golden Age shenanigans, right? Yeah, we're at 14, so you can get out of here. I can bring you back down to our campus city. Um, and then start chopping out some things for you. Three wonders in Gap and not a theater square in sight. Two, that's just her, her thing, but yeah. Yeah, I know. I feel the same way about it. Yeah, if we do Pingala here and then chop out a bunch of population, we're pretty happy. They already have a granary, so they can get to seven. Yeah, we can get a farm, but whatever. Oh, well, yeah, it does work. Look. Getting plus two. So it's so weird. It seems to be so inconsistent on what things work in other empires and what don't. Because, like, the the triple, the, the district adjacency won't, right? Like, if I put the theater square here and put a commercial up here, I won't boost that theater square. 
but it's interesting that it does work off of their wonders. <laughs> Petra. Nine. I want this to go at the same time. Is it two friendly adjacent districts? Let's look at the wording. Plus one science for two adjacent district tiles. No, it doesn't say friendly at all. Can you steal wonders by culture bombing them? No. Nope, nope, nope. You can disrupt their, their construction. But you can't ever steal it. I want this tile. You can't really get it right now. So again, maybe just start a builder. Delay this a little bit. Let's get our second Pingala promotion. Cut us up in culture a bit. <laughs> oh no, Dentrasi, that sucks. There's an achievement for stopping the wonder. Yeah, it's a it's a Poland achievement. Can I switch this now? I think we're pretty good on defenses. Probably want to get here for era score at some point. I think I do want to switch. I'm still scared of Nubia, though. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for now. Too too afraid. I'm a coward. I've never felt so, so cowardly before. Oh, we lost our suzerain here. It's okay. So there go, there go our troops. Hey, I wonder. No, Jay, just he, he Pachacuti only has a uh, mountain bias. That's all he's got. I'm doing this because they have a water mill. There goes Apadana to Teddy. gonna keep getting builders i realize i'm getting some without the feudalism boost but that's really what we need right now there's not not really anything else i'm interested in Signe is a tool. <laughs> god damn it all right all right we'll meet pal maker up here yeah, it's going to be tough with him. Three turns on this. Thank you, Thalia. Thalia, you told me about the turn 51 yesterday, and I just completely ignored it. I am so sorry. I don't have tea. I mean, we could settle like something down here. It just feels like a worse city. Normally, I like this tile as a plantation. However, 
probably want to chop out all these things and put terrace farms there. Again, it's tall for the sake of tall, and we're going to wind up giving up production as far as mines go. Uh, but freshwater terrace farms are kind of where it's at anyways. So we might as well start doing this stuff. Okay, fair enough, Thalia. I did. I just boiled right past it. Sometimes I'm a real idiot. Yeah, we're scared of Nubia. She's going to come settle here. She's got coursers and crossbows. I can start heading that way, see if we can clear it. What are you building there? Oh, he's starting Forbidden City? Hmm. I should be kinder to myself? I know. I know. I suck at that, too. <laughs> I think we should get some missionaries. Yeah, I know. I'm seeing the aqueduct spot with one, two terrace farms. I'm not ever putting one here for it, I don't think. Not when I need districts. I'd rather put the aqueduct here and boost that farm. Well, I guess that farm doesn't even get boosted because they don't get boosted with aqueducts if they already have fresh water. So, yeah. This would improve two terrace farms, but I'm not interested in doing that. I don't care enough. I want to unlock these. I don't have a lot of money, but this will help me defend against Nubia if she decides to finally go aggro on me. So I think I'm going to do that. Similarly, I think I'll get walls here. Again, we're a little bit nervous. Plus two for aqueduct, plus one fresh water if no aqueduct. Okay, so yeah, so it's always just plus two. It's a lot of production to add in a little. There he is. Build a quick scout. That's a good idea, Ben. Just so we can upgrade it. So that's actually a really nice meet. And we get Mahabadi here. So Diplo, we've got three diplomatic victory points already. We need 20 to win. And we get a couple of apostles so we can enhance our religion here. Grab the era score for that. I hope we're the first one to do that. Let's look. We will absolutely be the first one to do that. So uh, probably just evangelizing here, but we can always look at this. These are some nice promotions, debater and pilgrim. But and as much as I do want to like spread my religion a bit, we can we can do so with uh, missionaries. I think I want the era score and the ability to just be the first to evangelize fully. Shinto had three, but you, but if you fully evangelize, uh, that's when the era score kicks in. So you need to be the first to fully uh, fully uh, uh, get get all the beliefs. The third one actually doesn't do any era score at all. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and get that government plaza now. We could definitely use some government pl uh, promotions. And then the biggest thing is this. This is exactly what we needed to see as far as whether or not we were ever going to be able to settle here. Um, this is only minus five. But that city pretty much sucks. You know, this city picks up cotton, too. I guess there's cotton here, regardless. I could settle the cotton and pick up the tea. But then I miss out on, like, some good tiles up here. If we hadn't met Cree, would the minus 20 have actually affected the city? Yes. Yes, it would have. Were we the first Civ to meet all the other Civs? Yes. So we got five era score for that, which is nice. Mahabadi gives us three. Need to get to 103.
So here's one of the beliefs we want. We could pick our building here. All these other buildings are already spoken for, or we could pick our other belief. Uh, we're gonna grab them both here now anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, what do we want? What do we want is our book belief. I don't really care about city-states following our religion. This is better because it would get us envoys and that would potentially synergize with our victory strategy. It is a little weird, Ordos, yeah. Church property is kind of meh. Better off with tithe probably in the long run. Thinking about unity because it's the only thing that really synergizes with our victory type. I wouldn't mind the gold cause since, since we're paying so much to Eleanor. Stewardship seems bad. We're not necessarily guaranteed to get a, a campus. and I mean, commercial hub, yes, but we're not necessarily guaranteed to get a campus everywhere. Same with lay ministry. I'm not that interested in here. I'd rather have tithe or church property. Um, but when it comes down to it, like, I mean, sure, some extra gold is nice. Uh, but this could actually be useful in getting us a couple extra envoys, especially since we missed Apadana. So I think I will take unity. I don't know that we'll ever actually get any usefulness out of it, but I don't think any of the other ones do us any good either. So let's go ahead and take unity, and then we'll take our building. Can again look at these translator proselytizers. It seems like your first couple of apostles have always have really good promotions available. So we can evangelize here and get our building. What building do we want? Pagodas kind of make sense with the tall sieve, but again, like it's a pretty, it's it's really not worth that much. I think you're just better off taking the stupas, even though we have a triple continent split. What else could we consider here? Mosques, yeah, I guess. It would give us a fallback. Um, even though we took Defender instead of Holy Order, it would give us a fallback victory strategy, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, not taking that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I like Stupas, I think. So there's four error score for being the first to fully evangelize our religion. Uh, now we are 21 shy of a golden age. Lots of time to get there. Hopefully we find it. Working on this. And yeah, I want to spend a little... I would like to be buying builders here with our faith, especially once we're at feudalism. Um, this is actually five turns and that's four. That's good for us. That's five. Yeah, we're not really... We're, we're working... We got a couple builders here, but I felt like I needed them. Um, so I think I'd rather grab a missionary and try to like spread our religion just a little bit here. I suppose I could just save up for an apostle and launch an inquisition. That's a thought. This is probably fine for now. We can still do that. We'll just have 150 less faith. Stupid city-states in my way. So what are we doing with this now? This is tough. I could I could bring the harbor city up here. It gets productive tiles. It gets a bad harbor. But it gets the ability to build statue. That's true. We might be able to friend him up pretty quick here. That's a good call. Cultural alliance would be amazing, David. That is a good, good call. I'll pay for that too. Yeah, he's a great ally. Plus, we'd get all his vision. Yeah, too much loyalty to overcome here. But if we can get a culture alliance with him pretty quick, that'll that'll solve it all. Uh, granted, I don't have alliance tech until civil service. But I still think I need to move in this general direction. Now I'll grab that promotion. So my Earth got a city. So this is kind of all I'm looking for out of the mountain tiles. Uh, I think a 2-2-2 tile is fine to work. 
it's you, again, it's never going to be your best tile. You're never like super thrilled about it. Um, and, and you're, you're going to handicap yourself a little bit as far as long-term production. For Aeroscore, have we built a boat? No, I don't have a coastal city yet. I'm hoping to get one here in a second. Okay. So it is a five tile mausoleum here now. And it's a city I can probably hold with only minus five loyalty. I can get mausoleum. I can get statue. It's probably the best. Just settle the cotton. Again, we pick up the tea, which is a resource we don't have. It's not a super productive city. We could keep an eye on engineers for maybe snagging it. I think that's the best. In the fourth ring, one, two, oh, 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 yeah, that is four. I miscounted. And and so is that. Oh, crap. You're right. That's fourth ring. Why am I looking at fourth ring? Crap. Hmm. Well. Then I still don't know. Do you need a second city there to help boost it loyalty-wise? Maybe. We'll see. He must be in a golden. No, oh, wow. You know, we paid for that golden age. But we're the only ones who got it, so. This is minus 13. It's actually worse loyalty pressure than this. I'm still not sure where I want this. So this is era score now. Yep, they're housing capped. Again, massive like so so when you're housing capped like this, you're at minus 75% population growth, meaning that this is a 1/3 tile. So again, Food, for the sake of food, a couple terrace farms, useful. All of these terrace farms, because of the only half production, pretty bad. And then adding, like building terrace farms to add in food to these tiles, also pretty bad. We don't have the housing to sustain it. Can other cities use those? Probably. Although this is pretty much housing cap two. So you really like, I mean, seriously, look at that and, and picture with food with two, two less food on it is pretty much how it works. And then this I'm chopping to nobody because again, we're housing capped already. I could build the aqueduct, but then there isn't really a good follow up industrial zone. So I like it less. Plus four holy site there seems good. I'll take a researcher now. We'll get grants next. I started outlining an in, in industrial zone video last night, username. I don't think I'm getting this. This guy can't even really get through. It's too far away. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm clearing that, which is a bummer. Finishing any builders this turn? Nope. And we can start spending our faith on him. <laughs> it is exciting, Ordos. I agree. With the advance of feudalism. So we don't need this. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead. Because we have some defensive capabilities now, I'm going to switch into Classic Republic. I also want this. Um, the housing, as you can as you can already see, is useful. Um, and then I want the Legacy card, too. And we have our we have the ability to get our buildings. So we want Urban Planning, Serfdom, and then potentially Scripture, maybe for some more Faith. What else could we take down here? Could build some more settlers, maybe. It's the one plus with terrace farms. They don't kill appeal. Yeah, that's true. My man. Do we then get... Yeah, maybe. Arctics, that'd be awesome. Uh, Cosmic Coder. Quarter. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Why not go for TOA? We might. I think I like the scripture here. Got this holy site. Got that one in two turns. We're working on that one. Seems reasonable. Once we're at machinery, we'll be pretty happy. And then, yeah, we want to go for alliance tech. Can't even get 10 pop with terrace farms. Skirmisher there. So this is minus 18. So what are we doing? Yeah, that sucks that these are like right out. I think this is where I want the city still. But we have to wait. Otherwise, I'll lose it right away. All right. Now that we have feudalism in, where do I want to... I desperately want a builder here. As I said, this is sort of a project city that needs some love. To actually get good. There's still only pop two. I suppose I should force you to work that. I was forcing you to work that. Actually work both of those. That'll work. Seem dedicated to my craft? I hope so. This is sort of my shtick. Uh, yeah. I, 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 first of all, I love the game. But I also love like learning about it and teaching it. So this is, uh, this is sort of my happy place. So welcome, welcome. Oh, and we're super long on the video. Speaking of. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put a cut in the video here. I got a little distracted. This has been a fun one. I, as soon as I get a golden age, I'm like, all right, what can we do? Let's get it going. Thank you so much if you're watching over on YouTube. I appreciate it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.